Hey guys, welcome back. You're watching RamblinRec.com. I'm Mindy Hilton, and with me today are two guys from the men's tennis team. I have Kevin King and Juan Spear. These guys are the nation's top ranked doubles team. They're going to be competing this weekend in the 20 team doubles draw of the ITA National Indoor Championships in Flushing, New York. They also were the semifinals at last year's NCAA championship and set a school record with 34 doubles victories. Those are quite the accomplishments, guys. Now, you two made the semifinals and doubles for this event last year. How has that experience helped you as you prepare for it this week? No, well, uh, definitely uh, that helped uh, a lot to get a lot of confidence for our game. Uh, uh, as you said, we've been playing a lot together, so so that was just uh, uh, a big moment for us, like uh, to get the semifinal of a national tournament. And we also, a couple of weeks ago, we reached the finals of the All-American tournament in Tulsa. So it's it's very nice to be familiar with with where we're going again and and hopefully we'll do we'll bring the national title this time i hope so now you guys are actually going to be playing at the billy jean king national tennis center this is known as the showcase venue for american tennis that has to be exciting have either of you guys been there before uh yeah well we were able to play there last year uh for this tournament and uh it's a great facility uh, so it's good to have played there once, you know, kind of get the awe of being there out of the way. Uh, and it'll be a great opportunity uh, to play at such a nice place again. Mm -hmm. Well, now, Kenny Thorne, your coach, has had you guys playing with several other partners throughout the year. Um, that's been kind of new. You guys have actually only played together in an event once this season. How has that added to or affected your game? Oh, I think it's uh, it helps a lot. You're able to, you know, work on some other stuff and kind of develop your game. Uh, completely. Uh, then when you get back uh, to playing with Juan, um, you know, there's a lot of things you've improved on, so it definitely helps both of us, I think. And when are you guys heading out to New York? Uh, we're leaving on uh, tomorrow. Awesome. Now, and Kevin, you're actually going to be playing singles as well. Um, with the loss of three-time All-American Guillermo Gomez and four other seniors from last year, you've had to really step up and fill some shoes. What's it like being the leader on the team this year? Uh, well, I just try and uh, go out there every day and uh, try and get a little bit better each day. Uh, the results will take care of themselves, and, you know, so far it's been going well. But, uh, you know, the team is working hard, and we're looking forward to another good spring. Yeah, well, you're holding your own. Um, you won the singles title and qualified at the USTA ITA Southeast Regional last week in Athens. In six, mass six matches, you only lost one set, and... That's beating three ranked players, and three of those victories were actually UGA players. Tell the fans a little bit about that in-state rivalry. Uh, well, anytime you play against UGA, uh, there's a little extra adrenaline. You know, you, you want to win just a little bit more. Uh, so getting a chance to play three of those guys, especially on their home courts, you know, it means a lot to beat them. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck this weekend. Congratulations so far on all your accomplishments. Fans, thank you so much for watching RamblinRec.com. Stay tuned for more and exciting news and stories on all of our Georgia Tech players. <laughs>